the ladies semi-finals out in the water and all Australian affair it is Bronte McCauley um, in the red singlet with fellow Australian Macy Callahan in the blue singlet and Kai, this is going to be an exciting semi and just a short a small start for both ladies this is wave number two Macy Mc, Macy Callahan strong backhand vertical hit and that's all that wave had on offer so she started off with a 1.5 a good call from Travis Logie from Tours and Competition. We're into the business end of this event. One of these ladies will be at the finals of the Belito Pro and up and riding now, Bronte McCauley, wave number three. Two small scores to her name. This will definitely be helping her situation and hoping to get two finals here in the women's division. We are still waiting for a score for wave number two from Macy Callahan. But we're down to semi-finals. It is 20 minutes, 45 seconds on the clock. Up and riding now, Macy Callahan. Nice strong turn off the top. Sets up for that second closeout maneuver. And rides out of it nice and completely, Car, She's got a 5.83 right now on the scorecard. She had a backup score of a 1.5. So let's take a replay. This is wave number three, the last wave from Macy Callahan. Love little backhand snap. Love how she waited for the section here instead of pushing you know, maybe trying to push for three turns. She was like, no, nah, I'm going to wait for that section. And she really got off the bottom and activated the turn straight into the lip. Look at that nice first carve. Then waits for the lip and throws the board up. An 8.83 requirement, but with 18 minutes on the clock, there's more than enough time for this young lady and utilizing her strong backhand. It's a one hit for her, wave number four. She's going to drop out the 0 0.5 that sits in her top to replace it with this last ride we've seen on screen and just wanting to try close the gap a little bit. And watch this, I think, slightly bigger wave. Came off the bottom. You see that backwash? Threw it up and getting the little drop out. They also have the strongest club scene in the world where all the towns have two to three clubs and they have national champs. So a big system in place. And of course, this young lady out of Western Australia is part of that system. As we see her working the turns down the line, that wave just maybe a little bit wonky. Um, but we still get a first in place surfer and it, it went Gatti and Delahaye's way and we're going to see him in the final. Up and riding. This is live action. Bronte McCauley getting caught up with that lip and going down. So still sitting in second position. There's two scoring rides, a 5.17, the throwaway 383 that she's trying to get rid of. She is looking for a 7.49 to move into that first position. It's the, pretty much the number one guy in the Challenger series he's up against. Yeah, absolutely. Live action now. Beautiful down carve there from Macy Callahan. Is Oof. able to fit in a second and close it off with a third maneuver so we see the young australian with a 683 in her bag of tricks already a 583 as a backup well she took off straight into it here and just a massive wrap really putting the rail down lots of spray gets a second one with a bit more of an extension and able to get the third little closer as well so the judges are going to reward linkage of the turns here Look how good she is at just waiting for that bottom turn. She holds her line and then just absolutely drives the turn around. Loving the second one as well. So Red looking for a 7.49, Bronte McCauley. She is going to be given that wave. And up and riding now on her backhand. Gets two very similar turns in and kicks out. Will it replace the 383? Maybe, but what judges do like seeing, and it is part of the judging criteria, is a variety of maneuvers. Give the judges something different to think about. And uh, lastly, you're going to need a bit of wow factor. Well, she's keeping busy. She's up and riding again. That was a closeout. But with second priority, it doesn't mean anything for her. It's a big thank you to the World Surf League for redesigning the series and throwing it out. And, and here we see our current heat leader, Macy Callahan, utilizing priority. Just getting one quick turn in. This isn't going to feature in a top two. It's really hot down here in Belito. Um, and Bronte McCauley just sitting with that priority. She's now waiting for a big wave and a good wave to find that score. 7.549 needed. What a great Sunday for all our surf fans, for holiday makers coming to KZN um, for the winter school holidays. It's been a good 11 days of surfing here at the Belito Pro. Up and riding now. This is our current heat leader. Gets the first turn and then she has to redirect. Trying to work her way onto the inside. 
Yeah, two turns in, but nothing really that impressed me for wave number seven. So the clock strikes zero. It is going to be Macy Callahan advancing through to the finals here of the Belito Pro. That is the young lady on the screen. She defeats her fellow Australian, Bronte McCauley, unfortunately eliminated.